Good morning, Wakefield. Welcome to the 18th edition of Wakefield Action Media. I'm Johnny. And I'm LG. The theater department is calling for all of Wakefield to be part of the spring musical. Students and staff should audition now. Join the Google Classroom for audition information. The deadline to submit an audition is Monday, February 15th. Last Friday, Governor Northam called on all Virginia schools to make in-person learning options available by March 15th. On Tuesday, Dr. Duran announced his plan for students to return to school buildings. Starting in March, Arlington Public Schools will start gradually bringing back more students each week. Students who chose hybrid learning should be able to return for two days of in-person learning next month. Some other great news is that next Monday is President's Day, so we are off from school making it a three-day weekend. Remember, Valentine's Day is this Sunday. Sandra and her film crew have some ideas on what you can do. A creative way to share this special day is by creating a playlist of the songs you and your Valentine sing together in the car, or songs that remind you of them. Playlists are for everyone and are a thoughtful way of showing someone you're thinking of them. Instead of buying cookies from the store, make homemade cookies with or for a loved one. You can personalize them any way you want. Fast food and pizza places even make food in heart shapes to make them even sweeter to give on Valentine's Day. One thing you can do for Valentine's Day is write a handwritten letter to someone you love. If you're not in a relationship, you can write some to your friends. It's always fun to get things through the mail, especially when almost everything is virtually nowadays. It's a safe thing that can really make someone's day. You can add stickers or other cute decorations to the letter as well. Then send it out and wait for the snail mail to do its job. Did you miss picture day and still want to be in the yearbook? Email personal submissions to the yearbook advisor, Miss Buchanan, by February 22nd. The yearbook is also looking for candid photos to fill the yearbook. Send those pictures to Miss Buchanan now. February is Black History Month. How can you celebrate? Get to know some living legends in the Black community through their published work. This week, we hear from director Ryan Coogler, who brought Black Panther to the big screen in 2018. Here's a clip of Mr. Coogler just before Black Panther was released, talking about the five movies that influenced him the most in life. It's com it's complicated. Like like it's 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 like it's like five it's like five movies that had a profound effect on my life. It's a film called called Un Prophet, A Prophet. It's the film I probably I probably go back to the most. You got uh, you know I, I saw two movies with my dad in the cinema, um, in in at, at uh, Grand Lake Theater in Oakland, and I sat on his, I sat on his lap. I was way too young to see these movies. One was Boys in the Hood, and the other one was Malcolm X. Um, Malcolm X was a big one for me um, because uh, I, I had never seen I had never seen a, a a black man that powerful. And you got another Spike class. You got to do the right thing. Um, and in a way, in a way, he made Brooklyn feel. I'd never been in New York. I didn't come to New York till till I was you know a grown man. But 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 seeing that as a kid, I'm like, yo, I gotta go to that place. You know what I'm saying? Like it just felt it felt alive and it felt like it felt like home. Number five is gonna be a movie called, uh, wow, a movie called Fish Tank um, by Andrea Arnold. It's one of those films, you know, like, you know, like Love and Basketball, like Daughters of the Dusk. That's like a, a rallying cry of why the world needs, you know, women filmmakers. You know what I'm saying? And that's it for this week. Tune in next Wednesday for another exciting edition.